Hello and welcome to the Free Spirit Poncho Crochet Along. So this week we will be joining our squares together. So I just took mine off my blocking mat. So as you can see now the mesh stitches are really nice and open and so our squares are not wonky in any way anymore and they're also a little larger so I'm making the large size so my squares after blocking are 44 centimeters just to remind you they were 41 centimeters before blocking so they gained 3 centimeters so that's what we wanted to really open up those lacy mesh sections and so I have my four squares and now I will be joining them together to, to make the poncho now for the layout I'm just going to show you how it's gonna go with four smaller squares because I can't really get my poncho squares on camera. So just to show you how it's going to go. So you have your four squares. Okay, they're all done. And so you want to decide on your layout before you join. Okay, so just decide which square you want to be at the front, which square you want to be at the back, and which squares you want to be at your sides. And so take the square that you want to be at your front. So let's say that's going to be this one here. And one square that you want to be at the sides. So let's say this one here. And the other side right here. So I've put all of those three squares with the right side facing. So that's my front and those are my sides. And so to begin joining we are going to join at this corner spaces here. Both corner spaces together. We are going to join along this line until we get here and then without, without cutting our yarn we are going to continue and join this two sides here. Alright so that's our front, those are our sides and so this line here is gonna be our neckline. Alright? And so we are going to join those three squares together. Now, for the last square, so let's just pretend that's all already joined together. And so I'm just going to flip it. So now I have my squares facing the, the wrong side facing. Alright? And so to join our our back, our fourth, fourth square, we are just going to fold the sides, just fold in two, just like that, and take our fourth, fourth square and put it the same way as the front one so with the right side facing, all right? And so for our back we are again going to join those sides here and then those sides here. So this right here is going to be our finished v-neck line and here's going to be our bottom line. Alright, so 
obviously those squares are much too too small to, to make a poncho with but just to to show you how it's gonna go so for the joining method I'm gonna show you with a contrasting color so you can really see the stitches better but normally I would just use my main color here so that's what you should do just use your main color so so the join will be practically invisible but I'm just gonna use the blue because you can see better what I'm doing okay and so we are gonna use a flat slip stitch or a zipper join because we really want to have a neat and professional finish and we don't want the seam to bulk or to, uh, to be too, uh, too visible so that's really a nice nice join it does take some time but it's really really neat and and really worth it so first what we what we need to do is a slip knot on our hook just like usual and we've laid those two sides that we are joining together really side by side so first what we're gonna do is to go to this first chain to space so this first corner we are gonna push our yarn down so it's it's not it's not here it's coming really from here from between our squares and we're gonna go into the corner space of the second square yarn over and complete the slip stitch and from now on now on what we're gonna do is we are going to go in the next stitch on each side but we're only gonna take the inner loop so we have the two loops of the stitch right here but we're only gonna go into this inner loop now we push the yarn down again just like that and we go through the inner loop only of this next stitch and now we yarn over and complete the slip stitch and so basically that's what we're gonna do all along so inner loop here push the yarn down inner loop on the other side and complete the slip stitch let me show you that again inner loop right here push the yarn down inner loop on this next stitch on the other side and complete the slip stitch so for the next one all the same inner loop push your yarn down inner loop on the other side and complete the slip stitch and so you're going to take really stitch by stitch one stitch on each side because all of our squares are are similar so they all have the same number of stitches on each side so that's really what we need to do So, 
just gonna show you how it works up. So this is how it's like on the front and that's what you see from the back. So working with your main color it will be really almost invisible and it's not creating a, a bump, it's really flat so that's what we're going for. Okay, so now all you need to do is work the same way until you reach your next corners and so in the corners you're gonna walk a slip stitch through both corners and I'll meet you there. Don't fasten off your your yarn just just yet when you've reached those corners here because we're just gonna use the same yarn without without fastening off to join the second square right on this side here. Okay, so I'm gonna work it up with my main color too and I'll catch you right here. Okay, so I've worked my last slip stitch right here in the corner and so this is, once again, that's my front and this is one of the sides. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this thread, this yarn here on my hook. I'm gonna flip everything over so my join is here, here is my front and so I'm gonna take my other side so this square here and I'm just gonna join just continue working with my yarn and I'm just going to join those two sides together without cutting. So I have my working loop right here and so I've already worked a slip stitch through this corner space with the corner space of this square here but now I'm gonna go to the same corner space on my front square again push my yarn down as usual and I'm gonna go through this corner space right here and work my slip stitch and so now it's gonna be just the same as we did on this side here. We're just gonna join those two sides stitch by stitch. So let me just show you for this first one. So the first stitch here inside loop on this side and inside loop on this other side and complete the slip stitch. Next one right here inside loops always remember to push your yarn down here so really your yarn comes from between the the two squares and so that's what you're gonna do all the way to here and so work your last slip stitch in those two corner spaces and fast enough. So I'm gonna let you do this and then I'll get back to you for joining the, uh, the back of our poncho. Okay so I've worked my last slip stitch here in the corner spaces and so now I'm just gonna cut 
chain one and pull through so it's all secure okay so here it's a little big so it doesn't get in the on camera but basically that's what we have so front and both sides now what, what we need to do is to flip everything over so just try to show you so this is our front we've joined here on the sides both sides and so what we need to do is to flip and fold those sides so one and two see I've folded my sides here and now I'm gonna take my last square and put it right here okay so we will need to join from here up to here and then down here again and so let's just join right here this on this side this sides together so this way we can work work our way up to the neck and then we don't have to fasten off and we can go down again to the other side and so we're gonna we're gonna work just the same way we did for the front for joining the front to the sides but now it's joining the back to the sides so I'm gonna let you work join those sides together and then I'll catch up with you to uh, to show you how to finish our poncho okay so now that our squares are all all joined and that we have tried on our poncho at least I, I know I have we will just work a few rounds of finishing of the neckline and the bottom so for the neckline you you are going to have two options you can either have a v-neck so just the same about the same shape as it is now or you can add a cowl type neck but either way the first few rounds are going to be the same okay so let's just start by the neck so I'm gonna make a slip knot on my hook right here and so you'll notice I, I have my right side facing okay just as we had before and I'm just gonna join somewhere here on really near the side in any stitch doesn't matter so I'm just gonna, gonna join here and I'll work a standing half double crochet so here we go and there and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to work a half double crochet in every stitch until I have only two stitches left before my joined corners here so until I only have those two stitches here left before 
the valley of the Vinac. And so I will meet you right here. Just maybe walk the first few stitches with you. So half double in every stitch, very, very simple. Just working plain half doubles. Okay, so I'm gonna let you stitch your half doubles all the way through here and I'll meet you right here. Okay, so I am here almost at my corner spaces. I have two stitches left. So I am now gonna work a half double crochet five together. So in those two stitches it's gonna be one and two, so I'm not finishing my stitch. Third one, I'm gonna go into this corner space. So that's three. For the fourth one, I'm gonna go in my first stitch after corner. And finally, number five, the next stitch. So I have quite a lot of loops. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven loops on my hook. And I'm just gonna yarn over and pull through all the loops. Okay? And then half double crochet in next stitch and that closes off our big half double five together. Okay, so next we're just gonna work a half double in every stitch right until the next corner spaces at on the next side. So on the back and you are just gonna do exactly the same thing as you did here. So half double in every stitch when you only have two stitches left to your corner space. You will work a half double five together so the first two legs of your cluster will be in the last two stitches before the corner. Your third leg will be, will be in the corner space and then your fourth and fifth legs are gonna be in the first and second stitch on the other side. And otherwise it's just half double in every stitch. So I got, I'm gonna let you do that and I'll meet you to jump. Okay, so I finished my round and so just as usual we're gonna join in this first standing half double crochet. So working the slip stitch here and here we go. So we're gonna fasten off and pull through so it's all secure. Now for the next round what we want to do is just create a neat edge with a contrasting color. So we are going to work a slip stitch in every stitch all around. So I am gonna work with my contrasting color with the blue but you can you can take either of your two, uh, two contrasting colors just the one you like the most. And so again I'm gonna join somewhere so a slip knot on uh, slip knot on the hook just as usual I'm just gonna join yeah somewhere maybe around here so on the side but a little, little closer to the back 
and so just join with a slip stitch just like that and work a slip stitch in every stitch all around so every stitch that includes the uh, half double five together so it's really very simple round just a slip stitch in each and every stitch okay okay so I'm gonna just let you continue with this round and I'll meet you at the end here to show you how to finish this round okay so I finished my round and I'm here at the end and you can see that's where I joined with, with a slip stitch at the beginning of my round so what I'm gonna do because this slip stitch is a little wonky not not very straight and yeah it's not as as neat as all the others so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip stitch in my second slip stitch right here and so I'm gonna cover my first first slip stitch okay and then just fasten off and pull through okay and I'm gonna use a darning needle to get this this tail here to the other side without pulling it this way okay so I have everything nice and neat even on the join and now for the uh, v-neck option we are just going to work one final round and actually even for the uh, cowl neck option you're still gonna work this round except it's not gonna be the last one okay but for both options just this round so slip knot on our hook just as usual okay and we are gonna work in those stitches here so above these slip stitches so not in the slip stitches but really in those stitches without going through the slip stitches and I'm going to join with a standing single crochet just like that and I'm going to work a single crochet in every stitch Oh, we are never going into the slip stitches always always working on top of the slip stitches and just single crochet in every stitch all the way to here so we have our half double five together and it's right here in the middle so we are going to work a single crochet in every stitch until we have one stitch left before this half double three uh, five together okay so I'm one stitch I have only one stitch left until this half double five together so just to show you this here is the loop 
is the set of loops from the half double five together. So you'll notice is it's just slightly to the right of of the valley. So we are going to work again a single crochet five together over next five stitches. So one, the second leg is the half double five together, three, four, and five. Okay, so that's it. And then single crochet in every remaining stitch until the other side right here where again we're gonna work a single crochet five together starting on this stitch here so when only one stitch remains to the uh, half double five together we are starting our single crochet five together and otherwise it's just single crochet on every other stitch. So I'm gonna let you do that. So after you've finished your round, just join as usual with a slip stitch to your, fur to your standing single crochet and fast enough. And I'll meet you right after that. Okay, so this is our v-neck, completely finished. And so you can either leave it just like so, and so you'll have a v-neck poncho. Or if you want to add a cowl for a super, super warm and cozy poncho. I've recorded a bonus video that shows you how to go from here to add your cowl neck. But for now, we are just going to work on the bottom of our poncho and so I'll just explain to you how we how we finish off this bottom here and for the uh, cowl neck just go to the uh, to the bonus video after you've worked your on your bottom of the poncho okay so the very first thing is to be very careful to work on the right side of your poncho when working on the bottom because I had my poncho just like just like this and so if I was to let's say join here just like that because that's how I, I was holding it I'd be working on my wrong side so that's not what we want so just flip the poncho just like that and so now you'll be sure that you're working on the right side okay so we are gonna join our main color with a standing half double crochet in the chain 2 corner space. So standing half double crochet. Alright. And we are gonna go straight to the first stitch after corner. So again it's the sneaky one here and work a half double crochet and we are going to work a half double crochet in every stitch so I'll just let you work your half double crochets until you reach your first join here and I'm gonna catch up with you right here to show you how to go on the other side, okay? 
Okay, so I worked my last half double in this last stitch of this side of my front or back square. Okay, and so now I'm left with this chain to space here, which is from this, which is the corner space of this square. I have my slip stitch join. And I have my, this chain 2 space here, which is the uh, corner space of this next square. So I'm just gonna work a half double on this first side, so in the chain 2 space of this square, one half double over the slip stitch join. And again, one half double in this chain two space. So in total, I've worked three half double crochet in this on this join area. And then again, I'm just gonna go to this first stitch here after my corner and work a half double. And again, I'm gonna work my half doubles until I get right here to my next join join uh, join space and I'm gonna work exactly the same way I did right here so I'm gonna put a half double crochet in this chain to space over this join over this slip stitch join and over this chain 2 space. So three half doubles for each join. Alright? And then again half double in every stitch and I'm gonna catch up with you when you get right here. So before your next chain 2 space at corner. So right here. Okay, so I'm at the corner space of my front square and I'm just gonna work a new corner by working a half double, chain two and half double. And that's it. I'm then going to continue working starting in this first sneaky hidden stitch on the other side and so on. I have a little knot here that's me joining my new ball of yarn. So. Yeah, and just a half double all the way to the other side. So always the same way over these joints here. And so I'll meet you just before the next corner. Okay, so I've reached my other corner. So I've worked my last half double in the last stitch before corner space. And here, here I have the corner space in which I've already made a standing half double crochet. So what I need to do is just work one half double, chain two, and join with the slip stitch to the standing half double that I made at the beginning of my round. And there. Okay, so the next one is gonna be pretty straightforward too. We're gonna chain one half double in this first standing half double crochet right here. And so we are going to work a half double crochet 
all the way until the next corner space so on the other side so we are just going to work half, half double in every stitch so these stitches here near the join too and I'm just gonna catch up with you when you reach this corner space here so I'll show you how we make our new corner okay okay so I've reached my corner space here so I'm just gonna show you how to make our new corner it's just like we did on the last round half double crochet chain two and half double crochet in the same chain two space and that's our new corner and so after that again be very careful not to miss this first half double here as usual it blends in with the chain space so half double in this first stitch here and we are just gonna work a half double crochet in every stitch until we reach the next corner and so I'm gonna meet you at the end of this round and we're gonna join together okay so I'm almost at the end of my round I've worked my last half double in this last stitch before my corner space so now I'm just gonna work a half double in this chain 2 space here I'm gonna chain 2 and work another half double right here and I'm gonna join to my first stitch of this round which was worked on the first stitch of the previous of, of the next side I mean so so there so this round is finished and just on a side note we are we are going to make three other rounds which will be one half double round one slip stitch round and one single crochet round so we are going to add about one centimeter uh, this would be about half an inch of length to our poncho and then of course we will attach the fringe so that's gonna visually increase the length too but anyway if you would like to have a longer poncho just repeat the round we just worked as many times as you want until you get to your desired length minus yeah about one centimeter and minus the free fringe of course so really this round you can repeat as many times as you need until you get to uh, to the length that you want okay okay so for the next round we are going to chain one and half double in the same stitch and as we did before we are going to work a half double crochet in every stitch until we get to the next corner space and on this round we are going to work in the corners a little differently than we did up until now so half doubles all the way to here and so this is where I'm gonna meet you to show you how we are gonna work in our new corners okay so 
I'm here at the corner space. So I've worked my last half double in this last half double before corner. And so in this chain 2 space, I'm going to work 5 half double crochets. 2, 3, 4, and 5. So no chain, no new chain 2 space, just 5 half doubles. Now for, for the next stitch, this one is really, really hidden, you know. I have to really pull on those stitches I just made to see that my first half double after corner is this one here. So work a half double crochet in this hidden stitch. And a half double crochet, one half double crochet in every stitch right until our next corner on the other side and I'll meet you there and we'll finish this round together. So I am just a few stitches away from finishing this round so I'm gonna work those last stitches with you. So I'm before my corner space so I'm just gonna work a half double crochet in every stitch until my corner space so that's here and so again I'm going to work five half double crochet in this chain two space here just like I did in the previous chain two space so that's five and now again I have my hidden stitch right here so I'm going to pull my five half doubles away so just to work in this one and half double and now I'll just join here in my next in my first stitch of this round and I'm going to fasten off and that's a happy coincidence because right here I have a knot and I didn't make this one so I'm just gonna cut it away. So and pull through to secure and so here. Okay, so for our next round, we are going to use a contrasting color again. So I'm just going to go with the blue, just like I did for my neckline. But again, you can use either of your contrasting colors. So you can you can go with your with the same color as you did on your neckline you will have enough in your in your skin in your ball of yarn so I'm just gonna start with a slip stitch uh, with a slip knot on my hook and now I am gonna work slip stitches so again very careful you wanna you wanna work with your right side facing you And I'm just gonna join somewhere on the side. So let's say here. But yeah, you can join really in any any stitch. And so I'm gonna join with a slip stitch right here. And I'm gonna work a slip stitch in every stitch of this last round. So just slip stitch everywhere and that's why we didn't make any chain spaces 
in corners so we can just slip stitch all the way around <clears throat> so it's just exactly the same thing that we did uh, on the neckline but nevertheless I'm gonna meet you right here at the end of the round so I'll show you again how to join so again I'm a few I'm two stitches away from the end of my round so I'm just gonna work those last two slip stitches and here you can see that I've reached the stitch in which I slip stitched at the beginning of my round and I'm not gonna go in this first slip stitch I'm gonna go in the second one and I'm just gonna work a slip stitch so I wor I'm working over this first slip stitch right? and fast enough just like that and pull through so again I'm going to use a needle to get this yarn tail to my wrong side without just going like this because because if I do do it just like that I'm pulling on my stitches and they're not neat anymore so okay okay so for the next round we are going to need two stitch markers again so just like for the panels if you don't have specific stitch markers you can use a scrap piece of yarn or a safety pin or anything really and we are going to place our stitch marker in the four, fourth half double of each group so in the corner spaces so it's not exactly the middle stitch because we've worked five half doubles so the middle stitch would be the third one but again as we are working in the same direction our top loop top set of sets of loops are always a little to the uh, to the right so to, uh, to account for that we are just moving one stitch to the left and placing our stitch marker in the fourth half double of each corner so I've placed one and so same thing here so this one here that's worked in my first half double so two down that's the one okay now what we're gonna do is again making sure that you have you have your right side facing we are going to join our main color again so we're gonna work a standing single crochet and I'm gonna join in the first stitch after the stitch marker so not the marked stitch just the one next to it okay and here and so 
now what we're gonna do is work a single crochet in every stitch until we reach the other stitch marker at the other corner and it's actually pretty sim pretty simple in marked stitches we are just going to work three single crochets in the marked stitch and one single crochet in all the other stitches so I'm just gonna let you go to the to your next corner and I'm gonna show you how to how to work in this in this marked stitch okay okay and so just as you can see in this round we are working in the stitches from the from the last half double round so we are not going through the slip stitches because if I did that right here my stitches would show and would hide my little framing so that's not what we're going for we are really just taking those loops above the slip stitches so our slip stitches still have their both free loops okay so I'm almost at my marked stitch I just have two more single crochets right here and so I'm gonna just take away take out the stitch marker because I won't need it anymore and I'm gonna work three single crochets one two three all in the same stitch and I'm just gonna continue working my single crochets so single crochet in every stitch right until my next marked stitch and so as usual I'm just taking this yarn tail with me and I'm crocheting over the tail it's just this way I don't have too many yarn ends to, to work away when I'm done with my project so that's what I like to do okay so I'm gonna let you work on this other side and I'll meet you right about here so when it's time to work your, on your second corner and join the round okay so I am here at my second marked stitch so I'm just gonna take it out and work three single crochet in this stitch and a slip stitch to this standing single crochet and so now we just fasten off and as usual secure the yarn tail and so that's it so the crochet part of this poncho is over it's all done unless of course you would like to add a cowl neck in which case you'll find all the information all the instructions in the bonus video and so now the only thing that I still have to show you is how to attach our fringe so that's what we're gonna do now
Okay, so for the fringe, we are going to attach strands of yarn to our to the stitches of our bottom line of the poncho. So we are going to need approximately two strands per stitch of this last round. And so just to gain time, what I'm doing is I I took a book that's roughly the size here of of the length of my fringe that I want my fringe to be and I'm just wrapping my yarn around the book so I'm gonna make most of my strands from my main color and some with my contrasting color so I'm just gonna mix and match and so I'm wrapping this yarn around and when I when I think I have enough strands I'll just cut along this line here. Okay, so I'll let you do the same and I'll show you how to join the uh, these strands later. And so just to show you, when I've cut, that's how my strands of yarn look like. So it's really nice and even on the sides. So that's what we're going for. And you are going to need some yarn for this. It's it's actually a, a bit of a yarn eater, but I just think that a very dense and nice fringe it look, looks so much nicer. So anyway, and so now let's say I have all my strands, I have everything here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two strands because that's that's how many strands I want to attach to uh, to each stitch. I'm just gonna fold it in half okay and I'm gonna take my crochet hook again and just go to any any stitch I have here pull my strands through the stitch just like this, so I've created a loop here and I'm just gonna pull the tails through that loop and pull on it. And so I've attached my first two strands to my first stitch. And so for the next stitch, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one strand of my contrasting color and one strand of my main color. And again, align them together and fold them in half. Hold it like that. Go through my next stitch. Pull that through. You might actually want to use a, a little bigger hook. So maybe just go up a hook size. So it will be easier to, uh, to grab all of those strands at the same time. And just pull through. Okay, so basically that's exactly what I'm gonna do all the way around my poncho. 